Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the video. Happy Easter. I hope the day has been great. Today I am announcing the giveaway. We're giving 10 Overwatch League jerseys away. There are multiple ways to enter, but you have to go down below in the description, in the comments, click the gleam.io link, and from there you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to enter. If you're already subscribed, don't worry, it'll automatically give you the entries. As well as that, if you follow me on Twitter, you will get entries. Retweet my tweet about the giveaway will give you entries, and follow my Twitch will also give you entries. And if you complete all four of those, you will receive a bonus 25 entries. So 10 of you guys will win an Overwatch League jersey of your choice. You can choose any team and I'm going to directly order it off the Blizzard website and send it to you guys. So go down below guys, click the gleam.io link to enter right now. All right, now that you guys know how to enter the giveaway, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, seriously, I love all of you guys who watch my videos every day, who subscribe to my channel, like them. I mean, everything you guys do is amazing. I love creating these videos every single day. I'm definitely not going to stop. It's only going to become better and better as days go on. Also, this might be one of the first giveaways we're doing, but it is not the last, that is for sure. So stay tuned, more are going to come. So I'm going to be covering all the April Fools, funny jokes from Overwatch League teams, the fake signings, all that good stuff at the end of this video. I'm gonna spend the next few minutes talking about Upcomer. It's an eSports app and it's absolutely amazing, guys. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do this giveaway for you guys. And I'm literally going to show you here why this app is so amazing. A lot of you guys have been saying, oh, why download this when you can get the Overwatch League app? There are actually a lot more perks on this app than they are in the Overwatch League app. Absolutely no hate to the Overwatch League, but the Upcomer app simply just has way more features. So do it for me, guys. Do it for Upcomer. Watch these next few minutes and you'll see how amazing this app really is. And I'm also doing an extra special mini giveaway at the end of this segment. So if you are one of the people that watch this entire video, you'll see how you can win some Overwatch League skins from me. All right, guys. So go ahead and go into your app store. You want to search Upcomer Esports. Select the app. Start downloading it. Feel free to give it a rating. It's a really good app. You guys will enjoy it. Trust me. Once you get it downloaded, you want to go ahead and open it up. You'll see your events. You want to select your game. What is your favorite games? You can choose Overwatch, obviously, League of Legends, CSGO, whatever you want to see. Then you follow your teams for Overwatch, Dallas Fuel, Houston Outlaws, London Spitfire. I'll select those ones. Then you can follow specific players. I'm going to search up Profit. He's a really good player. I want to follow him. So he'll come up, select him, give him the star, and now you're following Profit. So now it's asking you, do you want to see spoilers or do you want to hide them? I want to show spoilers. I want to see the results. As well, now it's asking you for notifications. Allow the notifications if you want push notifications on your phone. If not, decline them. And now we'll see my events. Already you've selected the Overwatch League. You want to pin that one. And then it will suggest events to you. You can select Korea contenders, North American contenders. I'm interested in those, so I'm going to follow those. Now you go back to matches and you'll see all the matches from contenders uh, Korea, contenders North America. As you can see today, we got all these matches coming up as well as other events. So we'll show those too, but I'm going to click Toronto Esports versus Grizzly Esports. And now you see a bunch of information about the team, the rosters, when it's going to happen. We can look at the standings overall for contenders North America. Let's select the event. Then we'll go to the standings here at the bottom. Group A, Group B, who's in the lead, Toronto Esports, Fusion University. Nice. All right, we can go back now. Let's take a look at some other matches coming up. Let's look at Monday. Here's some matches from Korea contenders coming up. Select that. We got X6 Gaming taking on Blossom. Again, you can see the standings, the rosters, all that good stuff. There's just so much information you can follow on this app. So now here's all the Korean contenders matches coming up. You can set notifications on the right. Let's go ahead and go back. Look at Tuesday. We have more contenders Korea matches. Wednesday, now these are the Overwatch League days. I already have notifications set for the Styles Fuel and Shanghai match because I really want to see it. You can also get in discussions, guys. There's 27 people already talking about the pre-match. All these messages, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and comment something. If you want to comment, you go ahead and just click the message down at the bottom, and then you sign up. After I signed up, now I can go ahead and type in whatever I want. If Dallas loses, I will eat my shoe, whatever, you know, something funny. We'll go ahead and post to that. And there we go, King Michael. So you guys can go ahead and uh, get on there, comment with me, talk about the matches. 
as well as just a ton of other people. So let's go ahead and go back now. Again, you can see the rosters of the players. You can vote for who you want to win. Three days, six hours when the match is happening. Previous match results, stuff like that. You can click on those. Go check that out. And yeah, one of my favorite parts about this app is that you can comment with other people. You can vote on who you want to win. There's a lot of interaction, and it's awesome. We'll check out the overall standings. This is for stage three. Nobody has played yet. Let's go ahead and look at stage two, maybe the title matches. And let's check out some comments on there. Let's see, let's do London Spitfire and Philadelphia Fusion. And boom, post-match comments. Holy Philadelphia won. Yep, everybody's freaking out. 23 post-match comments. So you guys can talk about the match before it happens and after it happens. I'm going to reply to this guy. He's talking crap about Profit. Obviously, we all know my boyfriend. That's Profit. Leave him alone. And uh, yeah, pretty much a whole bunch of comments here. Let's go ahead and go back now. And you can see the maps, who won which map, what the scores were, what the percentage people voted on prior to the match, and what is amazing now, guys. Look, there is highlights. Let's go ahead and check these out. You can look at full match highlights from the Philadelphia Fusion and Spitfire match. So if you didn't see the whole game, you can go ahead and check the highlights out on the app. Now, maybe you want to watch the full match. You can also do that on the app here. Look, just click the full match, and boom, here it is, every single map. You're not going to miss out on any of the Overwatch League, guys. So that's a good part about this app as well. Now let's go ahead and go back, check out the Overwatch League, make sure my notifications are on again. So now I will be notified for every single match. If you want that, you can go ahead and do that, as well as you can manually select the matches on the right here when you go to My Events. Now, also another amazing part of this app. Go to My Feed, guys, and you can see clips from pro players. Here's one for Agilities. He just literally popped off on Genji. Look at this. Boom, boom, double kill triple kill quad kill so you're telling me this isn't awesome guys you can not only watch the overwatch league games but you can follow the players you can look at some of the best highlights and clips from twitch also guys you can look at news la valiant proposed to trade for zephyr and envy obviously it was declined you go ahead and check this article out so so much information on this app this is why i enjoy it so much Bunny expected to be traded to the Los Angeles Valley. Arhan joins Houston. Just again, there's just so much news that you can follow on here. My feed, a great part of this app. One of my favorites. All right, guys. So as you can see, a lot of features in this app, and I barely touched the surface. There's so much more like statistics, more news, more highlights. It's honestly a really good app for when you're riding in the car, on a bus, train, going to the bathroom, or just bored in your bed. Hop onto the app and you can learn a whole bunch of information about the teams, engage in conversations with other people who are also interested in the league, find friends. It's pretty much amazing, guys. So go ahead and download it. All right, so now if you're one of my beautiful viewers, that's time to give back for you. I appreciate you watching all of my videos, the entire video. So here's how you can win some Overwatch League skins. Now, not only am I giving away these 10 Overwatch League jerseys, I'm also giving away Overwatch League tokens. Now, you don't enter from the giveaway, you enter from the comments down below. So what you guys need to do is you need to subscribe to my channel, go to the comments, type that you subscribed, and enter your battle tag. I will randomly be choosing people to win Overwatch League tokens so you can get any skin you want. But be sure that you're subscribed because if you say you are and I check and you're not, you won't be able to win. All right, guys, so be sure, enter the giveaway, download the Upcomer app, and now let's hop into the second part of this video and let's look at some of the funny things from April Fool's that a lot of the team's players tweeted out. There was honestly some pretty funny stuff. And it would actually be hilarious or awesome if a lot of these trades actually went through. So let's start off here with the LA Gladiators. This one is the Gladiators signed fan favorite DPS star Taisumi. So for many of you guys who don't know who Taisumi is, it's actually a Smurf account that Surefour always plays on. And he really became famous for it around last year. They said this about Taisumi. Taisumi's flexibility will add a lot more variety to our team compositions, especially on Elios. Usually we just spin a will and assign roles, but adding Taisumi will give us way more options, says head coach David D. Pay Pay. <laughs> So again, Taisumi is sure for. They put way at the bottom. Follow Taisumi on Twitter, Twitch, and it links you just to sure for. And our next one from the Ludden Spitfire, they said this on Twitter. In an announcement totally unrelated to the date, we are delighted to welcome Unit Lost Gaming as our main DPS. He replaces Profit, who leaves us to pursue a professional career in Fortnite. Please send your warmest welcome to Stai. Fly high with Stai. Oh, and at the bottom they said, we're also going to be changing our well-known hashtag to Aces Stye instead of Aces High. 
So pretty funny coming out of the London Spitfire. I would actually die if they took out Profit and put in Stylosa to play in place of him. Oh man, I don't know how good Stylosa is at all. Maybe he's actually decent. Maybe he's bronze level. If he's bronze, that would be so funny to see him in a league game. Now let's check out another one on Siegel's Discord. He said this to all of his fans. I can confirm that I'll be moving over to analyst position for Shanghai Dragons. Obviously not true. It actually wouldn't be funny or awesome if that happened. That would be very sad. So let's make sure that's just an April Fool's prank there. The next one, which actually I don't think is an April Fool's joke. London Spitfire, they announced that they have a new GM. Little Susie, so if you guys don't know who Little Susie is, she's been working with OGN for a while. Used to work for OGN League of Legends, then OGN Overwatch. Now she's moving over and working with Ludden Spitfire. Congratulations to her. Next, coming out of the Dallas field, this one's actually pretty funny. <laughs> the enemy becomes the ally. We've acquired Chow Undead Fang, who joins us for Wednesday, Stage 3 against the Shanghai Dragons. <laughs> Burn Blue, Overwatch League 2018, welcome Undead. This one's actually pretty funny. The Photoshop looks so weird, I don't know why, but <laughs> Undead, you know, he just got, I think, dropped from the Shanghai Dragons because of his girlfriend situation. So Dallas feel if they would have picked him up and then beat them with him, that'd be hilarious. Now this one is gold. I love this one. The Houston Outlaws, they tweeted this out. Available for a limited time only. Get your limited edition Arhan LOL X Jake LOL KE branded t-shirt. <laughs> Oh man, look at this graphic. Look at this shirt. This is so amazing. I love the Houston Outlaws for this one. I seriously do. Unfortunately, it's not actually in the store. I checked. I wish it was. I would so buy one. I would give them away in this video. But yeah, Houston Outlaws, that's a great one. Moving on to the next. Florida Mayhem welcoming Ryu Jahong. I'm taking my talents to South Beach. Read here. So if many of you guys don't know, LeBron James, he left the Cleveland Cavaliers and he said the quote, I'm taking my talents to South Beach. So that's what this is referring to. Now let's go ahead and check out Surefour from the LA Gladiators. He said something unrelated to the Taisumi thing. He said this on Twitter. I am now retiring from Overwatch to pursue my career in the arts, the arts of anime and 2D waifus. Alrighty, Surefour, have fun with the 2D waifus and the arts of anime. Now moving on to the last one and my favorite one. This came out just from Redditor. I don't know if you guys have been on the competitive Overwatch Reddit, but it's been completely changed into like this praise Jeff Kaplan. We love Jeff Kaplan. It's quite funny, but this was actually hilarious. Welcome Jeff to the Dallas Fuel. Horrible Photoshop, horrible job, but it's absolutely hilarious. And that's it guys. All the Overwatch League April Fool's memes. Pretty funny stuff. You gotta love these teams for jumping in, having fun with it. And thank you for watching the video guys. We'll probably get some insane actual news tomorrow. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated on all Overwatch League content. And just one last time guys, thank you for everything. Thank you for the support on this channel. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Now I'm only gonna ask you one more thing. Drop a like on this video. Let's get as many as we can. 5,000, 10,000, whatever it is. If you watch the full video, drop a like, and I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.